Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss some multiple choice questions on cleft lip and cleft palate. Let's start. Number one, a newly recruited intern received a new net from the labor unit. The intern revealed an anterolateral cleft in the upper lip. The intern tried to discover other congenital birth defects in the same newborn. What is the most common congenital birth defect of the head and neck region? A anterior cleft palate, B posterior cleft palate, C anterolateral cleft lip, D thyroglossal duct, E tongue tie. Answer should be anterolateral cleft lip okay answer is the c number two a medical student was trying to understand the location of the anterior and posterior cleft palate what is the reference point to understand the locations of the cleft palate a upper incisive teeth b lower incisive teeth c evula d incisive foramen what is the answer answer is d incisive foramen number three a medical student at attended a seminar on fetal alcohol syndrome the lecturer outlined the facial anomalies associated with consumption of alcohol during the first trimester of pregnancy. Medical student remember the narrow palpebral fissure, epicanthal fold, microcephaly, and shallow filtrum in a fetal alcohol syndrome. Baby. Which of the following prominences forms the filtrum of the upper lip? A. Mandibular prominence. B. Lateral nasal prominence. C. Medial nasal prominence. D. Maxillary prominence. Answer should be what? Medial nasal prominence. C is the answer. Number four. Which of the following prominences forms the cheek and lateral wall of the upper lip? A. Mandibular prominence. B. Lateral nasal prominence. C. Medial nasal prominence. D. Maxillary prominence. Answer should be D. Maxillary prominence. Question number 5. A 27 year old woman had delivered a baby with a cleft palate and a cleft lip. She has a history of epilepsy. She was reluctant to take adequate folic acid supplement. Which of the following is the most probable medication she took? during pregnancy a tetracycline b streptomycin c aspirin d warfarin e valproic acid what is the answer answer is e valproic acid question number six the nasolacrimal duct and lacrimal sac develops from a group between what? Lateral nasal prominence and medial nasal prominence, mandibular prominence and maxillary prominence, lateral nasal prominence and the maxillary prominence, maxillary prominence and medial nasal prominence. What is the answer? Formation of nasolacrimal duct between what? Between the lateral nasal prominence and maxillary prominence number seven the hollow prosencephaly is often associated with what in hollow prosencephaly we have one ventricle in lieu of two lateral ventricle of the brain we have some type of cognitive defect due to hollow prosencephaly there will be abnormality in the frontal lobe of the brain that is hollow prosencephaly with one ventricle in lieu of two lateral ventricle. The hollow prosencephaly is often associated with what? A median midline 
cleft lip, B oblique facial cleft, C cleft uvula, D cleft secondary palate. Answer should be median midline cleft lip. Answer is A. Question number eight. Which of the following chromosomal syndromes is associated with cleft lip and or cleft palate? Trisomy 21, Trisomy 13, Kleinfelter syndrome, Brown syn Turner syndrome, Fragile X syndrome. Okay, so these are the choices which will, which will be associated in most cases with cleft lip and cleft palate. Answer should be what? Answer should be B, trisomy 30. That is often associated with cleft lip and or cleft palate. Number nine, the muscles of facial expression are derived from which of the following pharyngeal arches? First pharyngeal arch, second pharyngeal arch, third pharyngeal arch, fourth pharyngeal arch, sixth pharyngeal arch. From where the muscles of facial expressions are derived? Answer should be second pharyngeal arch. Question number 10. All of the all the muscles derived from the second pharyngeal arch are innervated by what nerve? Ophthalmic nerve, maxillary nerve, mandibular nerve, accessory nerve, facial nerve. What is the answer? Answer should be E facial nerve. Okay, all the muscles of facial, facial expression are derived from the second pharyngeal arch, and second pharyngeal arch has nerve supply that is the facial nerve. And these are my answer keys. And that's all about the 10 questions about multiple about the cleft palate, cleft lip, and the face area. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice, wonderful and blessed day. Bye now.